Hello. Can y'all see me yet? Or hear me? <laughs> I love you too, Kelly. Hey, Abby. Hey, Pat Hall. Gabby, hey, baby. Is Liv with you? Hey, Mama J. Hey, Katie Sunshine. Hey, Sarah J. Oh, Sarah J. Thank you, baby. I'm so glad. Hey, CJ. I'm glad to have you too, baby. Hey, Rebecca Higgins. I know I'd already said hey to y'all when I was sitting here. Katie Sunshine. Amy Gordon. Hey, baby. And let's see who I miss. Margo. Hey, baby. And you have fun and be careful tonight. You know, don't be getting in no trouble. Hey, LaDonna. And Carrie. And Christy. And Sarah Lee. Let me get back down here and say who I missed down here. And Rebecca Higgins. I said, hey, Katie Sunshine. Ooh, shoot, fire fuzzy. Y'all just jumped up real quick. <laughs> hey, Pat Hall. I love you, too. Hey, Tony, how are you, baby? It's so good to see you. Hey, Vinny. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Nancy. Oh, my goodness, you're off today? Hallelujah, Jesus. It seems like all you do is work. How did I miss down here? I can't keep up with this. Hey, Sarah J. Hey, Carolina Princess. Hey, Irene Fink, Columbus, Ohio. It was a beautiful day here today, honey. It was so pretty here. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Gia. Hey, Trisha. Okay, Michelle, I don't know where she is. She's probably in the chat driving, waiting on me to uh, whoop her butt when she gets here. Oops. it! See, I jumped again. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Miss Sue and Tom. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Verena. Hey, Angela. Hey, Tina. Well, Miss Helen, that wasn't from me, baby. That was from uh, Maisie. Maisie sent you that. I put it in the note, didn't I? But you're very welcome. And she was just tickled. She was just tickled to death to send it to you, baby. Yes, Vinny, did you have a nice birthday, baby? Hey, Tiger. Hey, Denise. Whoops. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Y'all. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Debbie. How are you feeling, baby? Topic's just a little update. Topic's just a little update, so we'll so we'll know where you're at, baby, because everybody in the world's been asking about you. Hey, Ivy Bell. Let's see. Miss Belinda, I couldn't be if I was doing any better, I don't know what in the world would be going on. Hey, Connie. Oh, I better say Connie Ainsley, because that Lordy Mercy, we got as many Connies as we do Pams now. Hey, Susan Funderburg. Whoop. Good. Hey, sweet treasures by Teresa. Hey, Sue. Whoop. Trisha, did I say hi to you? I hope I didn't forget you, baby. Hey, Patricia Gessner. How are you, baby? Oh, hey, Chicago lady. Hey, Deb Clark. Oh. Oops. <laughs> that is. It just goes. Y'all, if I miss you, I'm sorry when this thing starts. Hey, Fifi. Hey, Robin. It was great birthday. I am so glad, Vinny. Hey, Night Shadow Moon. Night Shadow Moon, are you Patricia's daughter? Well, hey, honey, it's nice to meet you. It's not so nice to meet you. You have a you have a wonderful mother. She has become a very good friend to me, baby. Hey, Jojo Mama. Hey, the thrifting librarian. How are you, honey? Uh-oh. I missed it. Hey, book bewitched. 
Hey, Nightshade. Lord have mercy, goodness. Now, you know not to throw this in here, Mike. You're new here, a vintage and vintage co since a vision and vintage. Co well, bless your heart. Well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher your name, so let's just go uh, let's just go for it right here, real quick. El Unico Uno Thrifter Treasures. There you go. To me, you're gonna be Uno Thrifter. You're gonna you're just gonna be Uno Thrifter. That's as far as I can go with it, baby. I love you, but you know. Hey Leona. Ooh. Party for the party. Huh? Yes, I'm party for the party. What is on your head? Come here and let them see you. Come here and let them see you. They don't care. It's nice to meet you too, Nightshade Moon. Nightshade Moon. She is the best. She sure is. You've got a good mama. Look at this mess. Done walked up in here with her hair up in the turret. Hey, uh <laughs> Now, what if that fell off your head and got in your eyes while you was driving? Huh? <laughs> now, what if that happened? Hey, Donna Zell. Hey, everybody. Hey, D. Hey, My sons just hear you. Listen, listen at what Baron I said. My sons yeah. just hear you. Look at each other and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> They're three years old, so I make it work. Well, my Kelly, will you fasten my brace up for me? I can't back. Hey, Margo. Hey, Margo. Rachel. Margo said I need to come out with her. <laughs> Margo's fixing to go to the honky tonk, honey. That would be fun, Margo. Hey, Margo, you need to check out. Uh, hey, three sheets. A vision and vintage co. She knows all about her, honey. Oh, okay. I know she. She bought my. Hey, Vinny, hope you had a good birthday. Box buddy. from her. Did Debbie ever type in here how she is doing? Is Debbie here? Yes. She's she said hey to you up there. Uh, well, I was. I know it. Thing. I know it, baby. <laughs> hey, sweet treasures, about Teresa uh, B. With your uh, uh now, y'all, uh, Teresa Bryant. She used to be Teresa Bryant in here when she's chatting with us. And everything. I, uh, I cannot keep this on me. Um, but now, but now she is sweet. Sweet Tea's Treasure by Teresa B. And she has started putting up content. So y'all can go and subscribe to her and check out her little videos. Let's see. Um, I see Gabrielle's in mine, y'all. Hey, Tina Hendricks, do you see uh, Gabby's comments? I see Gabby's. Oh, did she say something to me? And no, I they're it? asking if you can see Gabrielle's comments. I have. I said I saw her when she first came in, but I hadn't seen she said, oh, good. You see her comment where she says, oh, good? No. No, I do not. Unless I'm going slower. Hey, Miss Debbie Vitale, we've been praying for you, baby. She is waiting for surgery next week. They finally decided to, to do surgery, Debbie. <laughs> well, hallelujah. I mean, I'm going to still be praying for you, but Lordy mercy, at least there's, you know, they're actually going to do something. Yeah, I, I ain't never in my her. life. I'll be quiet, Kelly, while you go over and Everybody pray for... Everybody remember Angela's and her mom in your prayers, please. Angela's mom is not doing... Hey, well. Uncle Andy. <clears throat> oh, Miss Pamela Hammett, don't worry about it. I'm used to... Hey, it. Releve. No worries. No hey, for Sandy. Whoop. Susan. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I see Gabrielle there. She's saying hey to Katie. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hey, Roxanne. Mama Jay, what in the world are you doing tonight? Queso made me late. Don't blame it on my grand cat. I will. I'm not blaming it on him. I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Hey, empty nesting, too. You better hope we have some vegetables. He's digging them all up. Oh, is he? He, never, he didn't even mess with it last year. He didn't mess Kelly, with it last year. Kelly, knock that uh, air conditioner down a notch. Put it on like 69. I'm burning it. Uh-oh. Hey, D, how are you doing? Man, you had a good sale. Mm -hmm. I was uh, listening to it the whole time. Well, I was watching it, but it was, the laptop was way over there when I was watching it, but you had a good sale. I was listening to it while I was outside doing stuff. Hey, Tina, how are you, baby? A Vision and Vintage Co. Hey, Sally. Hey, Colin. Kim. Uncle Andy. All right. We're about 10 minutes in. Oh, okay. Well, 
Mm, we gotta get started. Kelly says, mm. "How are you feeling today, sweet baby?" Good. I only talked to you for one split second. Is Marconi at home? No, he's at work. Let's just say, let's just start off with these. You gonna come over here and give me some stuff, or what you gonna do? Yeah, I can. And write down your people. That yeah. When? Okay. Up first, we have these vintage. They're marked um, Ukago Ceramics, Japan. Oh, and I'm doing it on this uh, state-of-the-art uh, 757 laptop that the kids bought me for my birthday. So we're going to see if y'all like this better than the, when I do it on my iPhone. Okay, so y'all just tell me. Angela, it's okay, sweetie. We completely understand. You go on and be with your mom. We love you, and we're praying for y'all. Yes, baby, I do love you. And we've been me and Kelly's been praying, honey. All right. Uh, it's Yukago, Japan. They are lusterware Christmas candlesticks. There's a pair of them. They are three inches tall. And they are just, I don't know if the luster is showing up on here or not, but they're like pearly. You know, just real pearlized. They look like the inside of uh, an oyster shell. You know, just real pearly-like looking. They're three inches tall. And they've just got the little holly all around and the gold trim. And they they're don't have any flaws or anything on them. Oh, thank you, Gabby. And these, uh, this little pair of Yukago candlesticks, candle holders, are $10 and they're number 16. Hey, Karen's vintage and more. $10, number 16. Hey, Karen. Chicago lady. Hey, Katie. Katie. Yes, Mama J. <laughs> oh, I ain't even in my thing. Hey, Miss Sue. Hey, Connie Ainsley. Hey, Tammy. I don't see anybody. That's Teresa that. Bryant. Oh, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Because Teresa is sweet tea's treasures by Teresa. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Thank you, baby. Number 16 goes to Miss Teresa. Thank you so much, Teresa. Hey, Dana. Oops. Okay, let's see. Hey, Peacock Parlor. Hey, Randy. How you doing, Randy girl? Is that mouth any better? Hey, Decorn Moore. Okay. Let's see. Is this uh, that stuff from Lowe's any better? Yes, I love the stuff from Lowe's. Hey, if Mark gets off in time, do you think he can go get me? Never mind. I'll go tomorrow. I don't, I'm not going to need another roll to, for tomorrow. Okay. This is a Joseph's original with its little tag. It's got its little sticker still on her. And it's got the little Japan sticker on the bottom. And then the Joseph sticker over here. And she does not have any any flaws on her whatsoever. She's the fourth year with her little watering can. Uh, let's see. It says a Joseph's original, the fourth year. It says, you know what? I'm four years old and growing oh. fast. So I'm told the pencil mark upon the wall now shows that I am very, very tall. How sweet is that? How did the scissors get so tall here? Um, she is three and a half inches tall. She is in perfect condition. And her little dress is a pale, pale lavender. A pale, pale lavender. And it is $16. And she is number one. $16, number one. Decor and more. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Okay. Um. Hey, Tina. Oh, thank you, Miss Nancy. She said it's so clear. Oh, so y'all like the uh, laptop better than the phone has been being? I was hoping so. Okay. Up next, I have this uh, butterfly. Trink, uh, crystal trinket box. It's in perfect condition. 
and there's no um there's no you know cracks or chips or anything on it and it is let's see it is four and a half inches wide and it is an inch and a half deep counting the top and everything on the inside it'd probably be about a half an inch deep see like that but I it is just to use a butcher knife to cut this stuff with Kelly, surely to God you are joking. Well, a butcher knife. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we and the uh, butterfly trinket dish is six dollars, and it's number thirty-two. Six dollars, number thirty-two. There we go. Christy Garza, you got that one, baby. Well, let me see. Say, I told myself the other night I was going to go back and just make sure. But that's all I say. Because the chat moves fast sometimes and I forget. But thank you, baby. Thank you, Christy. Christy Garza. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. I missed the green line. <laughs> missed the green line. She's talking about the uh, Christy, it was Christy G. Okay, got it. Okay. And up next is this precious little, you know, those little guys look like the little Hummel figurines. And this is just a little wooden, vintage wooden music box. And it's just got the stamp that says Japan on the bottom. And it's in very good shape. It's, you know, just the hinge lid. And then inside, you open it and it just plays a sweet little tune. I guess I've run it down. But um, it doesn't have any flaws whatsoever on it that I can tell. It's just so sweet. Just a little, and did that have a, no, it's just a little music box. I was going to see if it had a little spot for jewelry inside, but it doesn't. And this sweet little music box with the little boy and girl on the front, it, I mean, on top is $6 and it's number 22. $6 number 22. Hey, Yvonne, how are you, honey? Hey, Cindy J. Sarah J, I can't remember if I said hey to you or not, honey. Okay, Tippy, I got it. She got it, Christy. Did something else happen to Jane besides her father passing away? Lordy mercy. <laughs> Yvonne, you're a mess. Oh. Jane isn't doing isn't doing too good with losing her dad. I know I I can I can fully understand that, honey. That that just about killed me when I lost my daddy. Mm -mm. Okay, nobody wanted this one, so I'll put it over here and we'll go back over it in a minute. Okay. Hey, Melissa. Up next is this Jeffrey egg that I had the other night. And it is just, it's got a, a seal on the bottom here that says a bunch of stuff, but it's by Regal. And then it's got a pattern number that says 1867 and something about gold on it. So I guess that this may be a gold, you know, real gold on the little tips and everything. But it's just like a pretty <laughs> little transfer wear um, egg planter or base. And um, it doesn't have any flaws whatsoever on it. It is um, five and three quarter inches tall. And it is a real pretty uh, pale, pale mauve, mauve color. It's coming up like pale pink on my screen here, but it really is darker. It's a it's, uh, real dusty like mauve. And it is $15 and it's number four. $15, number four, for this pretty little egg. Hey, Jennifer Lab Mama, blessings to you as well. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, Pat Hall said Jane did say that her daughter and granddaughter, Lily, have COVID. Oh, no. Lily, too? Miss Yvonne, I'm, I'm here. Uh, do you mean where? Okay, where's hang Kelly on, or? just a second. Um, um, Debbie Vitale got yeah. number four. Okay, thank you, Debbie, thank you, you sweet Debbie. angel. 
Hey, Debbie Shaw. How are you? Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Um, Debbie Vitale. We have to remember to pray for Jane and her uh, yeah. daughter and Lily, too. Yeah. Rachel Hayes. Husband. Rachel Hay, Lordy mercy. Oh, okay, Miss Yvonne. <laughs> Even the little baby, the new baby has it, too. Lord, have mercy. Okay. Up next is these beautiful. Um, these are from Italy, and it is um, they're stamped and numbered uh, on this little seal, and I can't. It says certificate of guarantee. This reproduction of an original work of art is produced on genuine 23 karat gold leaf. And it is artist reproductions and they are from Italy. And it is this beautiful. Now the background here that they are on. Well, now you can see it. See that gold in there. They are just so beautiful and they're kind of full looking, you know, and uh, this one has got, it looks like plums, grapes, raspberries, and something else. This is like a pear, a plum, some figs, and some strawberries and raspberries. They are just precious. And they have the little um, brass hangers on the back, and they are finished real pretty on the back as well. You know, finished off real pretty. And... The pair, this little pair of beautiful little prints is $15 and they're number 25. $15, number 25. Gia Schaefer. Well, thank you, Gia. Thank you so much, honey. Number 25 goes to Miss Gia. Okay. Yeah, it was CJ. Let's see. What we're gonna do now? Oh, I can do one of these. Okay, up next, I got in my cookbook stash and gonna give y'all some because you know I know how to cook now, but but I used to collect these all the time. And you this don't have to not know how to cook have cookbooks. You just want to I know, know, but I mean I don't, you know, I've got my favorites and some make Peggy's and Mama's recipe. This one is cooking from scratch, and it is from uh the Robertson Chapel Baptist Church. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh these women know how to throw down. Okay, let's see. It's got it's just the typical ones, but these are from uh women around here. You know, in my in my town. So I know that these are good. Let me just give you a, a sampling of some of them. She, they've even got a section for microwave recipes in here. But the church window cookies, peanut butter fudge, caramel brownies. Uh, oh, Miss Jessie Mae Simpson's pound cake. What I'm going to charge you for the book, this recipe right here is worth it. I could just cut this recipe right here out. And sell it to you, and and you'd be beg, you'd be begging me, thanking me, thanking me. That pound cake right there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's say what else was it that was good in here? Oh, the squash casserole from Isabel Sexton. And then Miss Mary Duncan will add your granddaughter to the prayer list. This this is a this is a this book is chock full of some good recipes. Set, hold on, Sarah Lee Coleman wants to know if there's any fried chicken recipes in there. Let me see, honey. I could. You want me to show you how to cook fried chicken? I can do a little video if y'all want me to, and put it up about how to cook fried chicken. Let me see. Oh, it's in the back. That recipes are in the back. That index I mean. Let me see, baby. Desserts, beverage. My Jim Shepherd said yes. A video. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's good to see Kelly in the chat. Oven baked. No fried chicken, baby. No sudden fried chicken. But <laughs> Carrie said, I want you to cook me the fried chicken. <laughs> no fried chicken in here, but I, I, I'll show y'all. 
I, sh- I sure will because really Mark good. Campbell loves it, but I try not to cook fried foods anymore, but I'll, I'll cook y'all some. And it, this little recipe book is $5 and it's number 23. That sounds good, LaDonna. $5, number 23. Gabby you know Lee what's Lee. good Lee. is fried chicken, my homemade fried chicken, and some tomato gravy and biscuits with it. Oh, my gosh, tomato gravy, mama. That's oh it. Lord. Who got number 23, baby? Uh, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. Number 23, it goes to... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to so do that. Say, can you mail it on ice? <laughs> hey, is uh Mark on days this coming week? He is, Amy. Uh, if I'm if saying. he is, I'll come up to y'all's house and cook the fried chicken and leave it up there, and that way I won't eat it. Okay, last Saturday he was working nice, wasn't he? I can't remember, baby. He may have one more week. I don't think he does. Well, whether he's working or not, he can eat it when he comes home from work. Oh God! I'll go up to Kelly's and I'll cook it for you. And that way I won't have it here, so I won't eat it. Miss Barbara and Bunda, um, tomato gravy is, um, oh my God, Barbara. Oh gosh. Uh, it's really, really good. You just make like a, a, a base roux with, um, bacon, uh, drippings. And then you, or if you're making it at breakfast, you can just make it right after you cook your yeah, bacon. You can just make it right after, you or cook your ham, or whatever. But it's best with bacon. The same pan that you cook your cook your bacon in, you can put your uh, stewed tomatoes, or mashed tomatoes in there. This well, is you got to do your roux with the flour, of course, and then you put that in there, mix it up. It's really, really good. And you put it over biscuits. A porcelain set. It's the brooch and the pierced earrings, and this is absolutely gorgeous. The way this is made. Uh, I mean, it really, really is a pretty, pretty set. The earrings are, let's see. I just might as well cook some chicken and some tomato gravy. Oh my gosh. I'll show y'all how to cook chicken, fried chicken and the tomato gravy together at the same time because that's what Mark Campbell's going to want. Hey, Miss Connie Emmerich, how are you? The earrings are one and a half inches long and the brooch is... Two and a quarter inches long. But these are just as light as a feather. Light as a feather. They are so good. Hey, hey Dana, Grace 2010. And uh, this set, this beautiful set is $20 and it's number 29. $20, number 29. Hey, Sue. Hey, Connie Ainsley. Is that an Alabama oh, thing? Patricia Gessner. Thank you, Thank you Patricia. Patricia. So much, baby. That's right. Now be Lord. careful with these, Kelly, because they are fragile. I will. That's right, Lord, you bet. <laughs> Patricia loves jewelry like you do. Oh. Uh, huh? Yes, Miss Debbie Vitale. So many of us have been praying for you. We're so yes, glad. we have, honey. And so many are so glad to see you in the chat. Yes. Lordy mercy. I'm going to put them back in this bag, Mom. Yeah, that's mine, baby. Yeah, we're going to continue prayers, Debbie. Okay. Right. Now, I don't know who, if anybody has this or not, but I found this. I was going through trying to uh, find. I've lost part of my uh, hey, uh, Mikasa set I have. Of hey, Christina dishes, Taylor. And I wanted to list it on eBay. But anyway, I found these when I was looking for the other pieces to my set. And if anybody has the uh, Corningware Abundance um, plates or uh, casseroles or ovenware or anything, I have got 33 pieces of the Abundance flatware that goes with it. 33 pieces. And these steak knives, let me just show you a piece at a time. Like, see, you'll know the pattern as soon as I show it to you. When I say Abundance, you might not know what I mean. But they these are true steak knives. And when I tell you they're sharp, they're sharp. I mean, <laughs> you know, and um, there's a total of 33 pieces. There's dinner forks, the little salad fork. <laughs> there's uh, the little bitty spoon. And then there's two of these big spoons. And let me just tell you what's in this um, in this set right here. There is 11 of the steak knives, 11 of the dinner forks, the large forks. There's five salad forks, 
four small spoons and two uh, vegetable serving spoons. And it comes to a total of 33 pieces of this flatware in all. And it's marked stainless steel Hong Kong. And for 33 pieces of this is $30 for the whole bag and 33 pieces. And it's number 19. Spots that are impossible to hide on purpose. <laughs> I know it. I mean, and, and when I bought these, I'm sure that I was uh, intending to list them on eBay. But I said so many people like Corel and Pyrex and stuff, and somebody in the chat might just have this these dishes and this um the casseroles and stuff that go with it. And I thought I'll just show it to them first before I list it and see if anybody. Uh, Chris, like show it. the handle again. Show it slow. It's because got it's hard to tell the uh, fruit and everything on it. And then the back is just plain. But it's the exact same print as the um, the dishes and the uh, casseroles and ovenware has on it. But I thought I would show it to y'all before I listed it in case anybody had this set and wanted to add the flatware to it. And again, it was number 19 and it's $30. Yes, I was so tickled to see her too, Jennifer. Whew. I mean, I'm telling you, we've had some, some of our buddies has been through it this year. I'm telling you what is the truth now. What you looking at, Kelly? I was looking at the thing out there. Okay. Up next, I have these little sleepy-eyed, winky-eyed. You see, they close their eyes and they open them. They move. Their legs and arms all move. And this is the 2002 Madame Alexander Bride and Groom Dolls. They're five and a half inches tall. They're in perfect condition, and they still have their little tags and everything on them. And they are just as sweet as they can be. Just as sweet as they can be. Well, hey, Coco. Hey, Coco. <laughs> and the little set of Madame Alexander Bride and Groom is $16, and they are number 33. $16, number 33. Vinny's still trying to get tippy. Oh, Jennifer, that's sweet. Amy Gordon. Oh, thank you, Amy. They are precious. They are just so sweet. Amy Gordon. Hey, Lynn Dowdy, how are you, honey? Hey, Lynn. <laughs> Hey, Lavender Flower, how are you? Uncle Andy said, I'm trying my first bottle of watermelon Mountain Dew. Oh, my gosh, that sounds good. It's not for me. It's for me. You don't like Mountain Dew. That's why. <laughs> no, I don't like Mountain Dew. Okay, up next is, let's see when this is. Okay, there's 2,000 recipes in this book, and it is from 1970, and it is from the Montgomery, Alabama, garden club and it is a book of 2000 different um salads cold salads hot salads uh tossed every kind of salad you can imagine and there's like coke salad? two cold salad oh i thought you said coke salad and there is 2000 recipes in this book and you could not even imagine you could not even imagine some of the salads in here. There's even frozen salads. There's seafood, um, There's all kind of things. In there too. And Kelly, you got you got to go over there and copy this before we sell it. Hot seafood dip <laughs> and guacamole salad and dip. Or now, what is an aspic? I thought I knew that. A but what? An aspic. A s p i c. And she's got a star beside it. Flavorful tomato aspic. And she's got it wrote in the front right here. So obviously these were 
these were important to her to have wrote these in the front right here. But I mean, you know, it would be like when you go somewhere. They're saying it's a uh, something in gel, something like jello, gelatin. Oh, okay. But you know, like when you're going in the summertime to somebody's house or something, just to whip up a salad, but bring something a little different. You couldn't, but you know, what I mean. You can't beat it. <laughs> Something quick, and then it goes a long way, too, you know? But this book with 2,000 salad recipes in it from the Montgomery Garden Club is $8, and it's number 26. $8, number 26. Poke salad in it. Miss, Miss Trisha uh, at Sandy and Alto said tomato gelatin. Oh, gross. Decor Moore said, what year? Miss Annette Fang, you got number 26. What year is that book from? Thank you, Miss Annette. 1970. Thanks, Annette. <laughs> 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 I know, tomatoes do not belong in jello. I'm a tomato freak. I love tomatoes. I could eat them just right off the vine. And they do not belong in Jello. Can't stand Jello. <laughs> okay, up next is another piece that I had the other night. And night this Shade Moon. Nightshade Moon said it was nice to meet you. I'm gonna sign off. Hope you'll have a great night. Well, thank well, you, thank you, darling. Thank you so much for coming, and I'm so glad you let me know who you are. Who is Nightshade Moon? She is Patricia Gessner's daughter. Oh well, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you for joining. Is this uh? Viking Sterling 1940s Ruby and Sterling Silver Poppy's Vase. I mean, bowl, Poppy's Bowl. And it is in just absolutely perfect condition. If I can get this up here so y'all can see all these poppies. That's right, Margaret. And this is, I mean, you can feel it kind of when you uh, run your finger across it. And it's got a little foot on it. It's six and a half inches across. Oh, that's pretty. And it's two and three quarters inches tall. And it is just in fabulous, fabulous condition. Let me get where that ring light ain't shining on those poppies. Sarah so Lee they Coleman can see said it. an aspect is challenging to make, Pamela. Well, I ain't going to have to worry about it because I'm not eating no congealed tomato, nothing. Uh uh. Mm mm. I mean, I'm sure it's got a place. Like, there's probably something that you yeah, eat it with. Uh -huh. Like, hollandaise sauce goes on certain things, you know. But Vintage mm -hmm. when he said Scott would love that. Look, I've seen like, kind of like little bowls like that, but not with that gold trim and that print on the inside. This is silver trim, baby. Oh. This is sterling silver. Oh. You look gold from here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And it, this beautiful Viking sterling bowl from the 1940s is $25, and it's number two. $25, number two. Hi, Thomas Lynch. How are you, honey? Hey, Thomas. Cam's Folly. You got number two. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you, Cam. You're going to love this when you see it in person. That's pretty. Thank you so much, honey. I don't know why. Cam's Folly. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's oh, see. Cam said it's for a daughter-in-law. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. I take good care of my son-in-law, too. Okay, up next I have this King Leo stick candy. And I know a lot of people use these at Christmas time for uh, decor and everything, but I thought with red, white, and blue on it, it would still be pretty to uh, put up for... Uh, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, you know, because it's, I mean, it's just really, really, really vivid colors in it. And it is six inches wide and it's four and a half inches tall. Just in really, really pretty condition. And the King Leo 10 is... $15 and it's number 10. $15 number 10 for the Vintage King Leo Peppermint Stick 10. Miss Lori, yes, Miss Lori, yes we do. Yes ma'am, we do. Yeah, 
And when they come in, if you'd want some, we'd be more than happy to give you some. Last year we were, we had a lot. It's a savory gelatin dish meal. Meat stock. And a mold to encase other ingredients. Ugh, oh, Rebecca, just like a jello thing. Uh-uh. Hey, Melody's Mini Miscellaneous. Hey, Melody. Book, okay. book said, can you fill it with fried chicken? <laughs> Honey, I, if I could get some fried chicken to you, I sure would. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, let me try these over here. Oh, Dana, that's so sweet. What? She said that book, I agree. When I get myself all worked up, I just want to call Miss Pamela or Kelly. Oh, she how have, sweet. <coughs> she must have made a comment a minute ago. <clears throat> Pure vomit in my book. <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> just don't hold no punches, Vinny. Oh, Book Bewitch said, do you have any clue how much you heal with just the love in your voice between you and your mama? My emotional bumps and bruises are eased here. You have serious power. Oh, how book. sweet is that? Y'all don't get me squalling up in here with my <laughs> ugly Kim Kardashian cry face. <laughs> okay, up next I have six vintage patterns. Thank you, Book. And I just thought somebody would love these. They're from the 60s and the 70s. And look at them. Look at that dress and that coat, that swing coat. Oh, I like the plaid and one. And then that. I, that's the one I was talking about. That's like a little swing coat. That's pretty. And then this one. Oh, you don't get no more 70s than this. Look oh, at look these at girls. Yellow pants, look at them. <laughs> How stinking cute is those? And here, I, and I had this outfit right here. My granny Montgomery made that outfit right there for me. Oh, I wish you still had it. I do, too. I'd give anything if I had it. She made it for me in Seersucker. This was solid. The shorts and that, uh, with the short part was solid white. And then this was like a real uh, pastel colored uh, check Seersucker. I remember it like it was yesterday. Did it say a dollar? Uh -huh. <laughs> and then look at here. Now, I know everybody that's over 60 years old had, had a dress with that trim right there on it. <laughs> you know it. Okay. <laughs> and then this, look at here. This is a like a preteen size 14. Look how cute that one is. Hey Michael Todd. And then hey Michael Todd. And then these little uh Katie said, where's Martha? Tops right here. But I just I thought somebody, I wish I knew anybody who sews in here to have these because this um i mean they are just so precious and they're dated on the back this uh 63 70 i can't remember this one is 72 some of those i would wear right now like i love that plaid one and the purple one beside it on the one you just took away yep that's pretty and Susan Thunderberg said she sews well they set a, a lot of Six vintage patterns is ten dollars for all of them, and it's number eighteen. Ten dollars, number eighteen. Pamela Hammett. Well, Pamela, you got you a good lot of patterns, baby. Thank you. Now, which dress did you like, Kelly? That one? I like that. Those two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I like Miss Lord Gardosos, but uh, she's not sewing any vintage stuff right now. I don't think. Oh, okay. Who got that, baby? Uh, Pamela Hammett. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Pamela Hammett. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let me get this bad boy out of the way. <laughs> Same here, Katie. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> this, um, this big bow right here. I do not know who makes this. I can't think to save my life. This fruit and vegetable enamel wear. But we have had a bowl, a big wash tub size bowl in our family for years that uh, that was mine when we'd shell peas and stuff in it. What is it? It's, um, and it's, let's see, it's 11 and a half inches across and it's five inches tall. And it's in very good condition. There is a little spot, a little fleek where the enamel is off right there. Uh, but, I mean, look at it. 
look how vibrant and beautiful these colors are. Could you imagine this if you had a garden? <laughs> imagine this sitting on your counter with all your fresh veggies in it when you come in from the garden. How pretty that look. Oh, uh, thank you, Melissa. Y'all are so I mean, sweet. it is just, I just love this stuff. And uh, this bow is $15 and it's number 14. Okay, Margo, you have fun and be careful, sweetie. $15, number 14. Bye, Margo. Have fun, honey. I'll try, Miss Margo. Love you too, Angela. <clears throat> hey, Mary. Debbie, Debbie Spiker. Nuh-uh. It's Spilker. 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 Debbie, Spilker. have you purchased from us before, baby? Welcome, Debbie. Debbie Spilker. S-P-I-L-K-E-R. Let me see if she's... I can't tell if she's... Debbie... She said no. Okay, Debbie, that's okay. No worries. Just, um, Just look at the pinned comment. The comment that's pinned. Tippy and... And also, uh, Tippy Winks is putting in um, our information. So, uh, shoot us an email. Thank you so much, Debbie. And welcome, honey. I hope you enjoy yourself and have a good time. Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage. Oh, my gosh. How in the world are you today? I cannot hey. wait till tomorrow for your sale. Hey, Mr. Chapter 2. Aaron and his beautiful wife, Alex, have a sale at... It's 12 o'clock Central, so it's, it's 1 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow on every Sunday. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're going to do an offer up on this mid-century Viking glass vase. Now, to me, this looks pink. In person, this looks pink. What do you think, Kelly? No, that's not pink. What is it? Hold on just a minute. Uh, Miss Wendy Melton, we sure will. Wendy Melton's asking for prayer for her um, for her husband. Uh, I sure will, honey. He has to have a procedure Monday morning for a kidney stone. We sure will. Uh, uh, we Wendy. sure will, honey. It kind of, that color is almost like it Look looks, at it. Look. It honestly. It is the palest orange or the palest amber. And it really and truly looks pink to me. But it is. A 1960s Viking glass, 20 inch tall, footed base in perfect, perfect condition. And that's just a, oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. Now sitting here today, what made me, I guess what's got me convinced it's pink is when the sun was shining through it, when I had the shutters open today, it looked just as pink and bright and shiny as it could. Well, right now it looks like a, a dark, oh, sorry, a dark salmon. Like it, it looks peach. It does. It look And peach. this is an offer up and I'm starting it at. What it I looks think? peach. That's right, Miss Nancy. <laughs> it's a wannabe color. It can't make up its mind what it wants to be. That's right. <laughs> Melissa said, rub that vase. And it's starting at $26. It's 20 inches tall. Yeah, y'all, it does look uh, more, more of a peachy color. And it's just, I mean, it's just in perfect condition. It's got these big old pumpkin uh Shape things down at the bottom. Ken and Fitzgerald got apric apricot. That's right. That's good. That's apricot. Karen. That's it. That's a good one, uh, Karen. That's exactly. And it's what it got looks the like. scalloped base, footed base. Rachel Hayes at twenty six. Miss Donna Zella at thirty. And it's 30. just. I mean, it's just uh, beautiful. Miss Amy Gordon is at forty five. All right. So high bid is Miss Amy Gordon at forty five. Decor and more. Thank you so much, Rachel Hayes. Thank you it's so just, much. And again, it's twenty inches tall. I measured it with the big yardstick earlier. Ladonna, Durbin is now the high bid at 60. It is just, I mean, it's, it was just Ms. so Donna pretty. Miss Donna out. Thank you, Miss Donna. With the sun coming through it today. Amy Gordon is out. Thank you, Amy. All right, so the high bid I've got my is, fingerprints all over it now. Amy Gordon is out. Thank you. Miss LaDonna Durbin is uh, still the high bid at 60. All right. Amy's out. Donna's out. Uh, so I believe. Decor and more. Uncle Andy was in there. Oops. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, oh, Rachel, that was a good deal. So, okay, thank you. If Uncle there's Andy. no further interest in it, we're going to say going once well, LaDonna with Darby. LaDonna at 60, <laughs> going twice 
with LaDonna at 60. And we're going to say sold to LaDonna for $60. Thank you so much, LaDonna. You're going to love this, baby. And thank you, everyone else who bid on it, yes, too, honey. Yes, thank you, our bidders. Did you put sold in? Oh, it's just coming out. Thank you so much. Let me put this back over here. Oh, I'll put this over here. Hey, Miss Jean, uh, Norma Jean, say hello, Miss Pamela and Sweet Kelly. Hi, Ms. darling. Norma Jean plus one. Norma. How you doing, baby? Mm -hmm. Hey, Annabella, treasure finds. What number was Glad that? Glad to have you. Number seven. Diana said she's got a yellow one, kind of like that. Paid a high price for it, she said. Really? Yeah. Hey, Annabella, treasure finds. How are you tonight, baby? Yeah, did y'all watch the draft? Yes, I did. And did you see? And did I say what? Our men. Yes, I saw our men. They're not our men anymore. Well, They're going all over the place. They're going everywhere. Okay, up next I have this cute little vintage skunk. Oh, a skunk. With this real little fur. <laughs> he is in perfect, perfect condition. But he does have this is under the glaze. I don't know what in the world it, it's like a little black mark, uh, black spot there, little line. But it's under the glaze. I mean, I, it's nothing that'll come off or anything. But he is just so cute. Look at his little face and them eyelashes and his crazy fur. And this just feels just exactly like real fur. I swear it does. Oh well, I mean, Annabella, we can't wait for you to. Find something, some of Mama's treasures. She said, I can't wait to buy some of your treasures. Oh, well, I'm glad, baby. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining uh, us. And the little skunk is uh, four inches tall, and he's three and three quarters inches long. And he is just as sweet as he can be. And he is $12, and he's number 17. $12, number 17. You don't have to worry about it, Carrie. <laughs> she said, the girl... Oh. The good old Bama quarterback is going to my favorite team. He better be good. Rachel, hey, you got that, baby. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Number 17 goes to Ra hey, Rachel. Hey. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, I can do this. Right here. Y'all don't worry about them Bama players. They'll pull through for y'all. Y'all just sit tight. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about no Bama player. Y'all right, just sit tight. Unless they get hurt, you're good to go. <laughs> okay, up next is this 1980s pearl necklace. And I want you to look at this whammer jammer hair. Whoa. <laughs> It is, this thing has got it going on, y'all. It's got these uh, two knots here, this big pearl, these crystal spacers in here. And it is, let's see, let me see how long this is. It is 32 inches long with a three inch extender. So it'll go to 35, 36 inches. Um, but this is gorgeous, and it would jazz up anything. Madonna wore that? <laughs> I wouldn't I doubt. I don't know, honey. That's what uh, Gia said. But it is just, and it really and truly, it is, it is really stunning in person. It really and truly is. And it is in absolutely magnificent condition. It was like it would go on with some of those pieces that was It is just really pretty. And this nineteen eighties pearl and crystal necklace is sixteen dollars and it's number thirty six. Sixteen dollars number thirty six. That's right, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly said Dynasty Falcon Crest Dallas all rolled into one. Yeah. <laughs> it is something. That's right, Jennifer. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Oh, 
Miss Belinda <laughs> Carroll, you got it. Miss Belinda, Thank you me. got that, baby. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Number 36 goes to Miss Belinda Carroll. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Put that right there. Okay. Now, up next, now, I might be wrong, and y'all poodle collectors may know, but I, I have never seen a blue male poodle before. And I think he might be kind of on the rare side, but I don't know how many poodle collectors there are in here or figurine collectors, but I don't know if I need to, uh, if y'all want me to do this as an offer up, if there's more than one or two people, or if you just want me to set a price on him. But he is the most gorgeous color, turquoise, he's turquoise blue, and then he fades off to a like a Tiffany blue, and then just a real pale, almost blue gray. And he is in absolutely perfect condition and just strutting his stuff, honey. Just strutting his stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. So we're going to start him at $18. Oops, stop. He shakes his little tush on the catwalk. So y'all can go. I'm starting him at $18. <clears throat> and he is six inches tall. And he is four and a half inches long. And like I said, he is just in perfect condition. Hey, Stephanie Bird. And I mean, I just love him because he's just got that. And Denise Poirier. Uh, you know, I'm 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 just a, a little I'm just a little bit better than somebody else. I'm 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 not your typical dog. You know? Randy is at 18. He is just so stinking cute and hoity toity. Hey, Diane Bodger. And he's red wear. You know, his little feet is coming through his feet aren't finished you yeah, know what i'm saying professor poodle yeah that's how yeah works, right? i mean he needs to have on classes don't he <laughs> but he's just like a big old standard poodle you know and he is just so cute now all of this is just uh he's got little brown trim in there but look at his little eyes <laughs> And how sweet Jenny he is. Said, Pamela, I was talking about you in Vintage and Vino's latest video. I bet your ears were burning. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, Ma. I hadn't seen it yet. I put it in my watch later because that's what I do when I go to bed at night is I try to catch up on videos. I, I try to watch at least two a night of everybody's stuff. Okay, let's see. It looks like it's... Randy Howman is the high bid at 18. That's what we came in at. Okay. All right. So, hey, Alex, how are you, darling? Hey, Alex. I know it, Tina. <laughs> okay. So, uh, everybody was saying all. Oh, well, I'm not worried about you talking about me, Jenny. I know if you was talking about <laughs> me, it was good. <laughs> so, uh, if there's no further interest past um, $18, JoJo Mama's coming in at 20. Okay. JoJo Mama's got it 20. Oh, man, that one's slow. Let me get over here on this phone. Randy Hyman is at 22. Hey, Maisie. <laughs> well, hello, my favorite dad, so Nate. So Nate. JoJo Mama is the high bid now at 23. How in the world is things in New Zealand tonight, baby doll? He was talking about lasagna earlier on D, so I was hungry. There's no, was it D's or uh, I think it was. I was like, Shoot, let me go to New Zealand and get me some lasagna. What a week tonight. Randy Howman is at 24. Now the high bid. JoJo Mama is at 25. Kelly Michelle, what are we eating tonight? Oh, I don't know. Okay, and Randy Howman is now the high bid at 26. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How He's a sophisticated poodle. Yeah. How is um? He looks like he means Bronny and Dad tonight. Is Dad any better today, Nate man? <laughs> All right. So Randy Howman has the high bid at twenty six. No, I'm not eating taco casa tonight. <laughs> Jojo Mama came back in at twenty seven. I don't know. Taco casa sounds good. But I got, got to get my salad somewhere else besides Zaxby's because they're double charging everybody's count. What? When you Randy Harmon is now at 28. Abby said, Kelly, let me show you Mr. Collin. You should have been an auctioneer. Oh, Abby, that's sweet. But I'm going to tell you, I think Katie is the one who missed that one, honey. 
She is so good. And I just love to listen to her. Thank you, Abby. That's a compliment. Oh, Nate, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, Nate. Me and Kelly, we, we've been praying for him. Yeah. We'll just continue to, baby. On the prayer, for all of y'all. On the prayer list every day. All right. Okay. So, JoJo Mama is now the high bid at 30. Okay. Randy's at 31. Randy's look now at 31. He is. <laughs> Isn't he pretty in person? I like it. Yeah, I've never seen a book. JoJo Mama is out. Okay, so... Randy Hellman has the high bid at 31, so we're going to call it uh, going once for Randy Hellman at 31. Whoops. Going twice for Randy Hellman at 31. How sweet is he? You got it. Okay. It's sold to Randy Hellman for $31. Thank you so thank much, you. Randy, and thank you, JoJo Mama. Thank you, JoJo Mama. I appreciate y'all. Well. I appreciate y'all so much, and he, he will too. You go into a good home, you'll have other little friends there, baby. <laughs> hey, Deanna Church, I didn't even see you yet. Hey, Deanna. How are you tonight, baby? You and Mr. Matthew. Yes, I forget to say hey to Matthew when I say hey to Deanna. Michael's video, everybody saying Michael's video was a tease. I guess I need to check it out. He's in my watch. I ain't. I haven't seen it yet. I gotta watch it. Him and uh, tarnished treasures. Hey, the aging beginner. How are you? Hey, aging beginner. He is a good one, Jojo Mama. You're exactly right about that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh. Okay. Up next, I have this nine cup. Cornflower Blue Corning Ware Percolator Coffee Pot. And I mean, when I tell you this thing, it's just like brand new. Look at this. I mean, look at that. The little pot right there. And the inside. I mean, it is just in stunning condition. What was the percolator? Kelly Michelle, you know what a percolator was. <laughs> I know what a percolator was. I'm talking about the dance, the percolator. Did you you never did the percolator in your life. <laughs> never. <laughs> you wouldn't have been caught dead doing the percolator. What do you mean trying to act like that? I wasn't mean we, I, we grew up with Nanny and Papa all per, with percolator coffee. I was talking about the dance. <laughs> but the uh, this beautiful cornflower blue <laughs> stove top percolator coffee pot in absolutely just near mint condition as it can get. Hey, Miss Judy Scalette. It's um, $25 and it's number 11. $25 <laughs> number 11. Hey, Judy. Pamela Hammett. Thank you, Pamela. You'd be hard pressed to find one in better condition than that one. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you so much, baby. Hey, my heart. Hey, Robin Summers. I didn't see Robin. And they Robin. keep the coffee so good and hot. I mean, Oh, it's so good. I, Chrissy, I've never done the percolator. Never wanted to. <laughs> wouldn't, be caught, wouldn't be caught dead doing it. Now, the electric slide or the Cotton Eye Joe? Yeah, yeah. I'll throw down on some of that. Mama only knows that those new ones, y'all, because of me. I had her up in the club dancing with me. We used to go dancing after midnight every, every Friday night or something, didn't we, Kelly? Friday or Saturday nights? Yeah. <coughs> Men. And we'd have the whole place dancing, wouldn't we, Kelly? Yeah. Oh, yes, Nate. We do love you, baby. I wish you was in the United States. I, be I believe that we you would probably have a house guest every week. You sure would. Let me go ahead and get this because I keep forgetting this one. Okay. We selling nighties? We selling nighties tonight, girl. Okay, this is a vintage Georgette Tremboli size small nightgown with this Chantilly lace all over the bodice up here. Had a pretty face. It is four floor length. It is a size small, and it has the uh, little twin spaghetti straps. Oh, let's do it, Kelly. 
And I'm gonna put the pearls with it. Kelly said with those pearls. Um Mozzie. <laughs> That's right, Lori. Good day. Hand wash, lukewarm. <laughs> do not wring and drip dry. But it's pro it'll be fine in a lingerie bag like I do mine. But look at this. I'm just going to get a close-up on this lace. Thank you, Robin. I love when people play the same, uh, song game with me. I want you to look at that lace. How beautiful that is. We the little walk. And it is just gorgeous. And this beautiful gown, floor length gown, is $20 and it's number eight. $20, number eight. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> <laughs> My stones. Get those pearls. Hold on. Get those pearls. Get those pearls. Hey, we need to put her on the mannequin. Y'all put her on the mannequin. I don't know. No, we'll get those pearls. My stone story said, get those pearls. Get those pearls. Hi, my heart. Let's see. Get those pearls. Wowza. Kelly Michelle, you ain't right in the head. Huh? It was Kelly's idea. But it was a good one. Look. Lord have mercy, y'all girls. <laughs> Let me put this out. Oh, somebody got it. Hold on. Jojo Mama. Hey, I hope you wear this thing. It we is just gorgeous. gotta accessorize it. Thank you, Kelly at Mustang. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Mm. Thank you, JoJo, and thank you, Kelly. Yeah, thanks, JoJo and Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Miss Belinda Carroll, for letting us use your accessories. Yes, thank you for. <laughs> oh, she is on one tonight, honey. It just makes it fun. <laughs> you are fun, baby. Don't you worry about it. Uh, Lord, Miss Lori Gado, actually, I do. I do. Well, not the chaparral, but across the river, I do. Miss Lori Gado said it was a side check earlier. She's like, you won't remember the uh, across the river and the chaparral. Honey, that's where me and Kelly would go after <laughs> after the after the bars in uh in Tuscaloosa closed. We'd come back over here home to Northport and we'd go to the uh across the, across the river and dance all night long. We'd, it'd be daylight in Waffle House time by the time we get left there. Look, Miss Belinda Carroll said, oh yes, my husband will love the pearls that way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, oh, this is pretty. What's next? Huh? What's next? <laughs> Up next is this beautiful vintage. Oh, Lord, I done got to, still got the string on it. Hold on. Have mercy. Okay. It's this beautiful uh, clamshell hold on a minute, evening bag, and it is covered in, uh, it looks like snake skin. Come on, Miss Jeannie. And it is um, got crystals all the way up there. This is um, just, I mean, in absolutely fantastic shape. It has the... Um, it's just as clean as a whistle on the inside. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous evening bag. And hold on, let me get this out of here so I don't tear it up I'm trying to show it to y'all. But it has the um, long shoulder strap. The back part is just plain with the gold tone there. And the front where the clasp opens up is the crystal. And it is just a nice little size. It would, let me see if my phone would fit in there. You know another one of those little clip thingies? No, my phone won't fit in there. Hmm. But it is just absolutely gorgeous with this beautiful, beautiful braided gold tone chain. And this wonderful, beautiful 1980s vintage evening bag is $15 and it is number 35. $15, number 35. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Susan. I'll, I'll club it in the 80s for sure. We could have put that with that, uh... No, that no, Kelly. That, uh, uh, no, it would not fit a can of Aquanet. Aquanet. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Nate Kiwi Kiwi. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, Jane, hi. I didn't see you come in. Hi, Jane. Mr. I hope your relatives are doing better, honey. Nate. And Lordy mercy, I hope you don't get sick. Oh, my goodness, no. Nate, Aquanet was a hairspray that all of us big hair people used. <laughs> in the 80s. Bar JM, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Miss Deanna Church said, Miss Pamela, tomorrow is Matthew's birthday and he is listening while I watch, but he did uh, make me late tonight. So, <laughs> 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 yes, that Aquanet was a super hole, wasn't it, Gabby? Oh, Melissa wants uh, number 35. You got it, okay. Melissa. Okay, baby. Thank you, Melissa. Number 35. Melissa Amiot. Mm hmm. Any it's so pretty, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it just feels good in your hand, don't it? Hold on, let me get something. Dragnet hairspray. It had the, uh, uh-oh. Up next, I have this gorgeous rooster pitcher. It is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shape. You could use it or it could just be for decor purposes, I'm sure. You know, it is nine and a half inches overall height. That's right, Miss It's Donna ceramic Zelda. and it's just the travel size really, really, really pretty. I thought I told you to bring a jacket. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Stand by commercial break. And the beautiful, beautiful picture. Rooster picture is twelve dollars and it's number twenty one. Twelve dollars, number twenty one. Bye, Cindy. Maker, Uncle Andy. Let's see. Jennifer Brinkley. Jennifer Brinkley's maker. Oh shoot, I missed it. Donna Zell, you got this beautiful rooster picture, baby. Let me put your name in the drawing because Kelly Michelle, be on me. Donna Zell. Thank you, baby. Kelly, Donna Zell got the rooster and I wrote her name on one of your slips for the free shipping, baby. Man, so good oh, good. Lord have mercy. It's like an eagle in here. I can't help it. Whew. I can't help it. Donna Zell. I'm going to put this back over there. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you, baby. Hey, Tina Hendricks. Have I said hey to you yet? Yes. Yeah. Did I? Okay. Well, in a different way. It was, you said right, Tina. Okay. Up next, I have this real pretty uh, deep pink Royal Copley. That's it's got part of the sticker left, the Royal Copley sticker well, there. Hey, Becky is vintage. This beautiful mid-century vase. Hey, Sam. With the um, bow on both sides. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Bye, Cindy J. Absolutely. Bye, Cindy. And it is six and a half inches tall. And I didn't do the measurements. Hey, Dean Oliver. It is... Exactly six inches across the top up here. And it does not have any issues at all on it whatsoever. Just a beautiful, beautiful 1950s Royal Copley planner. And this gorgeous planner is $16. And it's number 13. $16, number 13. Oh, Gia Schaefer, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Well, hello. Your son-in-law said hello, my two beautiful ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark Campbell. Are you at supper? Carrie said Royal Copley is jewel worthy. <laughs> How's your night going, baby doll? Mr. Campbell? I yeah, I hope you're having a good night, baby. All right, Miss Gia Schaefer. Baby, is this your last week? 
Um, oh, yeah. Are you on days next week, honey? Mark Campbell. Are you on days next week, baby? Mama wants to know. Okay. Up next is this gorgeous brooch. This is like a dark um, aged brass. It is. It's got this texture right here. And then these little <laughs> a leaf right there. And this deep purple stone with this little tassel hanging off of it. And um, I don't remember. I don't think it had a. Okay, baby. Thank you. Uh, it's Melissa, got riveted sweet. design on the back, but there's no maker's mark or anything. And it is, let's see. Including the tassel and everything, it's three and a half inches long. <laughs> but the actual round part of the brooch is one and a half inches long. The actual, uh, this part. And this beautiful little brooch is. Good night, Miss Judy. Good night, Judy, honey. It's $10 and it's number 28. $10, number 28 for this vintage brooch. Okay, Wendy Melton. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Wendy, honey. I hope you have a good weekend, baby. Tacky is me. <clears throat> hey, Daniel. Daniel. Thank you, baby. Number 28 goes to Daniel. I'm glad he got that. <laughs> I care it. That's what? If you've got two, you could have pasties. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh oh, Mama. What? Oh. Okay, up next is this gorgeous mid century. It. Um, it is <laughs> enamel on copper and it is hand painted. Let me try to get it out of the ring light. Um, with these gorgeous flowers. Just absolutely stunning. It's painted in a toll painting design or technique. And it is just in absolutely perfect condition. There's not a fleek to this enamel anywhere. And it is just so pretty. It is, let's see. It is two inches long. And the uh, clasp, here, I'll just take it off of here and show you the clasp. Uh oh, Katie, it's not on mine. It's this old c class like just a little hook under there melissa says she thinks that's russian where it just pops off well something because this uh <clears throat> i don't recognize this name on here it's in a foreign like a foreign language the person signed it who made it okay katie is beside it there and this beautiful brooch is 15 dollars, and it is number 37 Fifteen dollars, number thirty-seven, for this beautiful brooch. Hey, Jules. Pamela Hammett, you got that, baby. Thank you so much. Number thirty-seven goes to Pamela Hammett. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna get this time. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're going to do an offer up on this piece of Empoli. I'm going to start. Oh, shoot. I almost said it, didn't I, Kelly? And we're going to start it off at $28. And it is 11 inches tall and seven and a half inches wide. And it is this mid-century piece of Empoli Brandy Snifter vase. And it is the quilted diamond pattern. And it is absolutely stunning. There's no, there is not a flaw to it anywhere. It is just really, really gorgeous. I know it's old Nate. I know it, baby. See how it picks up those little sparkles the in the light? The aging beginner is at 28. It's just gorgeous. That purple. Are you still crazy about purple, Kelly? Not as much as I used to be. You're not? No. My favorite color is still green, but I did used to be crazy about purple. I had a purple. The aging oh. beginner has it at 28. And LaDonna, Lordy Mercy, LaDonna, LaDonna, LaDonna came. She's not playing. She came she in said, at 45. I want it. 
Well, she just knows what it's worth. Well, some come with lids, Rebecca Higgins said. I'm not sure. I don't think I haven't. Well, I haven't seen one with a lid, baby. That don't mean nothing, though. I just hadn't seen one. With Y'all, a lid. I had an all purple Christmas tree one time. Agent Beginner, See? thank you. Karen. <laughs> Burnt apricot. There you go, Karen. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out with our colors tonight, baby. That was so good, though. That apricot was. <laughs> okay. If there's, uh, I think it was only, <laughs> if there's no other interest past. LaDonna. Um, Durbin at 45 is the high bid. Yeah. So we're going to say going once. <laughs> with LaDonna at 45. Going twice with LaDonna at 45. And we're going to sell it to LaDonna Derwin for $45. Number three. Thank you, LaDonna. And thank you to who was Aging Beginner. Thank y'all both, honeys. 45. Mm hmm. I'm a little late with it. Sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> Thank y'all so much. Oh, Daniel, that's a good idea. He said, I'm going to have to get a Miss Pamela shirt and wear all the brooches I get from you when I go thrifting. All <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cute. Let's set that one back over there, too. I will. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I will. Oh. Three. Whoop. Yes, it is beautiful. Dean Oliver, how'd you sneak in on me? Or did I say to... He was here earlier. He's been here for me. Oh, okay. The chat's just going so fast. Okay. Um, Up next, I have... This is my... Yeah, this is my last cookbook for tonight. And this is from the Ladies Home League of the Salvation Army in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It's the country cookbook. And it is from... 1979, I, be I believe was, no, well, it's not, I don't know, 1984, 1984 is when they got this, and it is, now you can bet these are some good ones, ain't they, Kelly, mm -hmm. from these Tuscaloosa ladies, watermelon pickles, Christina Taylor said, where is it in, at, from again, watermelon pickles, that is from. Uh, it is from the uh, Lady the Ladies Army. Home League for the Salvation Army, located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And uh, hamburger casserole, oven stew for two, deep dish pizza, butternut squash casserole, corn pudding casserole. Oh my God! Summer squash casserole. Oh, you surely. Let's see. It's not going to be fun here in a minute. Millionaire pie. Okay. <laughs> if nobody has ever made or tasted a millionaire pie, when you're she, missing out. When she notices that green thing off the back counter missing. <laughs> Busy day lemon pie. Quick banana bread. Homemade bread. Biscuits. Jalapeno cornbread. Monkey bread. Let's see what they got in the cake. Watermelon pickles. Bring it. Sour cream pound cake. Who was that? Oma D. Jones. I don't know her. <laughs> Mozzie, did you see me? <laughs> now, I know Thelma McIntosh. Her pound cake recipe is in here, too. Yeah, some of these people who you know in here. Mozzie. <laughs> Red velvet cake. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's just good. Anyway, this here. country cookbook from the uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama is $5, and it's number 24. Five dollars, number twenty-four. <laughs> Thomas Lynch, you got it, Thomas. Thank you, baby. Number twenty-four goes to Mister Thomas. Uh, Daniel, hey, mom, do you have your uh, link to your merchandise in uh, your bio or in the? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daniel, it's in uh, her bio and also um, it's, it's on my Instagram. I know, and I think Instagram. it's I think it's in my link on my YouTube. Katie said she can uh, do it in just a second. Just a second, Daniel. Katie's gonna post it. Thank you, Katie. Bless you. Thank you, baby. Thomas Lynch. Mm 
Okay. Right. Up next, I have these cute gold tone and uh, clear crystal elephant trunk up earrings. They're just dangled in a circle. And see, this is open. I've just got them on this card, but it's open like that. And they are so stinking cute. They're pierced. And they are just really, the whole body of the elephant is the clear um, crystals. And the trunk up elephant earrings are $7. And they are number 27. $7, number 27 for the earrings. Oh, excuse me. Stephanie Burge. Thank you, Stephanie. Number 27 goes to Stephanie. Thank you, Dondalinger. Oh, I like that name. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Pamela Hammett said, Miss Pamela, I missed your epic jewelry sale. When are you having another? Um, thank you so much. I, I'm not sure. I, I'll try to have one in not, not this coming week, but next week. And up next is this gorgeous yellow Victorian house cookie jar. It is in absolutely perfect condition. It's, it's just, it, and it's just, just beautiful. It's the palest, palest yellow, and it's got a dark gray shingled roof on it. And every side of this thing is just as pretty as the front. It's got a um, real pale, um, red brick chimney and it's just it's just gorgeous it is um nine and a half inches tall and this beautiful beautiful victorian cookie jar it victorian house cookie jar it's twelve dollars and it's number 20. twelve dollars number 20. i know it katie it does, that's what it reminded me of too um Texas Gal Treasure says, came to get some selling tips. I've got to figure out how you pinned your comment in the live chat. I love it. Well, Texas Gal Treasure is welcome. Hey, We're what so, in the world are you doing? We're so glad that you joined us. What do you mean get tips, girl? You sell everywhere. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who got that? Let's see. Um, uh, Miss Gia Schaefer got number 20. Oh, thank you, Gia. So much, thank baby. Thank you, Gia. Number 20. That's another one. I think I'm going to sit back there, Mom, if it's okay. It's fine, baby. Yeah, I priced that one kind of low because it weighs a little over two pounds. Yeah, so the shipping would be, I mean, if you live far away, you know, it might get a little. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh! This is absolutely gorgeous. This is vintage by uh, Andrea by Sadek. Um, and it has got a green marble base. It, it has the hey, Angela, um, sundial brass part down here. It's got the um, degrees to the equator on this beautiful brass piece right here. And it's got this antique finish on it look at the ship i know it i know it it's just i mean this is really and truly beautiful absolutely minute, back. you gotta go slow look at this stuff that's on there look at this uh what do you call that 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 fish right there y'all hold on let me get it to where it's uh, that's uh hold it up just a little bit oh there you go look it's stuff like that y'all But this is absolutely Miss Pamela Hammond gorgeous. Miss Pamela asking, is it heavy? Um, let me see if I Maybe wrote down how much quick. it. Yeah, weigh it real quick. Miss Pamela Hammond, I'll weigh it real quick because it is a little bit heavy. Just a second. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
Lord, I get lost in here. Oh, Carrie, baby, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better, darling. Yeah, it's four pounds, six ounces. Four pounds, six ounces. So, let's see. What does last time I shipped, honey? I could ship that probably to Georgia and Virginia for like $9. Out to California, it would be probably 17 I could ship it to Indiana probably for $9. But like okay, uh, up to Washington, it would be like uh, probably fourteen to seventeen dollars. But this beautiful um, marble-based antique finish globe is twenty-five dollars, and it's number five. Twenty-five dollars, number five. I hope you feel better, Carrie. I do too, baby. I hate you. Don't feel good. Miss Pamela Hammett wants it. Okay. Thank you, baby. It's a gorgeous piece. I can't wait for you to see it. Is that right, Miss Pamela? Okay. Um, you'll get a look. I have to send you a treat, Carrie, since you're having a down day. I know it. I hate it when y'all don't feel good. Super. I mean, I know everybody has a bad day, but <clears throat> okay. Now I found some more of these um look at Melissa's comment leather cuffs. Oh, I know it, Melissa. I know it, but you know when I find um when I find good things like that, I, I you know, I mean, I, I sell. Like to take the, uh, I sell a lot of them on eBay. Of the, I mean, a lot of my stuff on eBay, but I still like to bring some to y'all. These leather cuffs, I have one in the pink, the leather and the little gold um, logo, and I have four in the off white, four off white and one pink. So uh, when you claim them, the person who gets puts their number in first gets the first choice but if i put them together you can tell the difference in the pink and the white when i put them together see well, this is the pale pink and this is the white melissa i didn't know you had a, uh, an ebay store i gotta go check it out and these are twelve dollars each and they are number nine twelve dollars each number nine <laughs> yes, Wonder Woman brace. Somebody said that the other day. Okay, I get to say her name. Karen Dondelinger. You get the first choice, honey. You want pink or white? The off white. Off white. Pink or off white? She wants pink. No, Karen, I have no apricot here. <laughs> All right, Karen Dondeling Dondelinger. Karen. Karen D. It's one. And then I have four of the uh, off-white left. Oops. Karen, do you want an off-white? Did you put in nine for an off-white one, baby? Melissa Amy Ott got it off white. She said yes. So So you got the pink and the white off white for Karen. And Melissa got one of the off whites. All right. Okay, so if that's all, then we will put the rest of these up and go into something else. Okay, let me see. Nine, okay, hold on just a second. Let me put that in there. Whoo! Okay, up next is this vintage 
50th anniversary cake topper. <clears throat> and it is in absolutely fabulous condition. I mean, absolutely fabulous. It's got the little paper and the pearls, the gold foil um, leaves on it, the little lily of the valley flowers everywhere, just, it, you know, coming off of it. The 50th anniversary foil there. And, of course, she's in her gold gown. And it is just beautiful. It's 10 inches tall. And it's 9 inches wide from the widest points. And it is just I mean, it is just absolutely fabulous. I know, Karen. And uh, if y'all know Tarnished Treasures, if anybody if anybody is not watching Tarnished Treasures, then you need to be. Because in the month of June, when June comes around, she puts um, all kind of beautiful things to do with weddings and uh, engagements and things like that in her uh, side cabinets uh, in her dining room. And these old cake toppers are one of the things that she displays there with it. And I'm telling you what, it is just gorgeous. That's right, Pamela. To have all of those together. But this beautiful cake topper is $20, and it is number 15. $20, number 15. You can turn it up a notch, baby. Hey, Tam at Vintage Uprising. How are you? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does, Katie. They're gorgeous. Okay, we'll put that one back up here. And let's see. What else have I got over here? Oh. Okay. Whew. I'm nervous about selling this one. Okay. I don't know if any of y'all know who Eric Hoagland, Hoagland is. Oh, well, thank um, you, Daniel. He's this beautiful shirt. female face decanter is from the 1960s. And Eric Hoagland, in, uh, in the 60s, Neiman Marcus was uh, going off of the craze with all of this art glass and everything. And they hired designers and bought all of this art glass and they made all of their displays and everything with all of this beautiful art glass from the sixties. And Eric Hoagland made these especially for Neiman Marcus. Hold on a second. Let me type this in here. This is going to be an offer up. And, um, if y'all want to take them, I mean, it's just, I don't know if y'all know, but it is just in perfect condition. It is, there's this gorgeous green and the, her face is right there. And you can tell that the women and the men are shaped exactly alike, except the women's hair is different and their mouths have got the little hey, heart shape, like the little uh, Cupid's bow on it. Hey, butterfly nurse. And All right. I and mean, they are $30. just gorgeous, <clears throat> just absolutely gorgeous. And this Marcy, one is, is flawless, just absolutely flawless. It is, I think it's 10 inches. Let me see. Daniel, thank you so much. Daniel just bought a shirt to wear, put his broken. Oh, on. thank you, Daniel. It's uh, right at 10 inches tall, just a little shy of 10 inches tall. Karen Fitzgerald, so what's it's, supposed to go in it? What did they put in it? That It's just listed as a decanter. So I'm not sure what, uh, you know, its purpose is other than being a decanter and just art glass. Um, now, he made these just for Neiman Marcus. I mean, because all of the research I saw, it stated that he made them especially for Neiman Marcus. Miss Gia Schaefer has the high bid now at 45. When they got into that, um, you know, putting... Uh, making all their displays and displaying this art glass all over their store. Marcy is out. Thank you, Marcy. And the next time I run up on a 1960s magazine, I'm going to look through. But, you know, I don't recall seeing any Neiman Marcus advertisements anytime I've been looking through those old magazines like that. But I'm going to be on the lookout. Since I researched this and found that out, I'm going to look for that. Thank you, Jojo Mama. Thank you, Dana. Is it signed, Barb Lee Ask? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, so Gia Schaefer. I don't believe any of his still has the high bid at forty. Things were, but it is just gorgeous art glass. You're welcome, Barbara. Beautiful. Hey, Vintage oh. and Vino. Hey, Vintage and Vino. Okay, so 
<laughs> if we don't if have we don't any, have any more offers. I know it's so Nate. <laughs> if we don't have any more Kelly uh, said she don't think Neiman Marcus advertised back in the day. They may not have. Hmm. Any more if interest? You, uh sure if everybody else is out, let's see. We're gonna say going once at 35. With um Pamela, was it Pamela no, Hammond? No, no, Gia Schaefer has the high bid at 45. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Gia Schaefer has the high bid at 45. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I missed it. Okay. Gia Schaefer has the high bid at 45. Sorry, y'all. I, I was lagging behind on this. So, um, if there's no further interest past 45, <clears throat> and everybody looks like they were out, it looks like. Um, we're going to say going once with Gia Schaefer at $45 and going twice with Gia at $45. Oops. Cute. And we're going to sell it to Gia for $45. Thank you, Thank Gia. you, Gia. And thank you, everybody else who yes. did on her. Karen Donnellinger said um, none of the high-end stores advertised in magazines. It was considered tacky. That makes oh. sense. And Kelly kind of said the same thing. They were so exclusive. They didn't feel that they needed to. Very little Neiman Marcus advertising out there from back in the day. Oh, so you just have to find a picture of it, I guess, that they put out in their marketing or something, their sales, like when they said that they were going to do that, you know? Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, Gia. 40. And that was still a deal on that, that piece, according hey, to my research, anyway. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. Hey, hey Laura, how are you, baby? I hope you and them kids is having a good weekend. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know you snuck the frog off. Don't be tippy toeing. Don't be tippy toeing around here and getting a uh, sell a frog. Giving me the little uh, innocent look. I'm putting back. You don't have to. You can have I'm them, baby. Back. <laughs> Up next, I have these um, this vintage dresser set. Uh, these little glass bottles and these little uh, brass looking metal stands. Oh, that's sweet, Laura. They have the um, twist off tops on both of them. So I guess they would have been like for lotions or creams or, you know, put your lotion or cream or something in. Well, old mom stuff. We, uh, they are just so we precious. Glad you caught us, love. Yes, I'm so glad you came, honey. I sure did, Pamela. <laughs> and um, I believe these are from like the 60s, late 60s, early 70s. Um, they are four and three quarters inches tall. And they would just make a... a precious addition to anybody's vanity and and you could i mean certainly use them i mean they're in perfect condition there wouldn't be anything wrong with using them and the pair of these beautiful little vintage vanity jars are 15 dollars, and they're number 12 15 dollars, number 12 yeah they are in very good condition pamela hammett oh pamela you got them baby thank you darling Number 12 goes to Pamela Hammett. Mm. Oh, here we go. I forgot about these. It's sitting right in front of me. Okay. Up next, I have these vintage clip-on earrings. Oh, yeah, Pamela, that works great. They are not marked that I can see, but I'm telling you what, they are very well made. Um, They are, this is all textured right there. And then coming up the center, that's like a, a marcasite like, and then it's got the clear crystals there. And then this very top piece is textured like in uh, marcasites as well. They are, you know, they're, they're not tea tiny, but they're not big either, like that. You know, they'd be on your ear like that. And they are just really, really beautiful. They kind of remind me of a scarab, you know, 
the I guess it's the way they're made and those look these little scale looking textured things going up it. But they are just gorgeous. I just think they're so pretty. Let me get them in front of my face so maybe they'll show up a little bit better. And these beautiful little clip-on earrings are eight dollars, and they are number thirty-one. Eight dollars, number thirty-one. Just yeah, I mean they do, don't Pamela they? Pamela Hammett. <laughs> you got them, Pamela. Thank you, baby. Number thirty-one goes to Pamela. Oops, shoot. Okay. Are you sure you don't want the frog, Kelly? I'm sure. I'm aggravating. You're hey. aggravating me. Hey, Michelle. Emancipation three. Hey, Michelle. How are you, darling? Okay, up next is this vintage uh, mama frog with the little baby on the back. It's just stamped Japan on the bottom. It is seven inches long and it's five and a half inches tall. And it's just really, really textured and detailed real pretty. And look at how pretty their eyes are painted. And the detail of his little feet and stuff. You know, there's no flaws on him whatsoever. Oh, Lord. He's just so cute. And somebody told me that um, double frogs or two frogs together was good luck. So I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't it is. know about that. Oh, Kelly, Kelly says it is. Is he heavy? Miss Linda Punky asked. No. Hey, mm -mm. no, Miss Linda Punky. Mm -mm. Not at all. He's lightweight. No, he's light. And this beautiful little frog is with its baby. It's $15 and it is number six. $15, number six. Thomas, Thomas Lynch. Lynch. You got that pretty little thing, Thomas. Thank you, baby. What number was that? Six? Yeah. Thank you so much, honey. Okay, you want to draw for your free shipping? Yeah, just a second. What are you looking at? I was getting this sticker off of him. I can get that. Thank you, Angela. I'm going to sneak have some more stuff over there. Yeah. I didn't have a spot big enough, so I'm going to That's fine. You going to draw for you? Come over here and draw for your shipping? Yeah. Hi, Doug. Hey, Doug Grimes. Kelly's going to draw for somebody to get free shipping tonight. Free shipping. Free shipping. Let me put it on the front so I'll see it. You read it. Free shipping. <gasps> Belinda Carroll. Golly bum. Belinda, congratulations, honey. Hey, Miss Belinda. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. Your pearls will have free shipping, Miss Belinda. <laughs> Kelly Michelle's on one. Thank y'all all so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight. I know, right, Miss Pearl? I just Hannah? love <laughs> y'all to pieces. It's the highlight of our week. And all the new people who came, thank you so much for coming. And I hope you enjoyed yourself and come back again. And let's please try to remember everybody um, who needs our prayers this week in um, our continued prayers. Miss Wendy uh, Melton's husband, Miss Angela, uh, uh, Angela Marksberry and her mom, the whole family. Nate's dad. Nate's dad. Debbie Vitale. Yep. Wendy Melton's. Oh, you said Wendy Melton's husband. Yep. Miss Jane's family. Yep. Katie's family. Katie's family. Yes. So everybody, please, please stay safe and remember our friends and your prayers and stuff. And um, smile and say something nice to somebody tomorrow because you don't never know what somebody's going through or or what a smile or just a nice kind word. Really, and just a smile 
would, would do for somebody that might be having a bad day. But y'all go when Kelly's going to go eat. And of course, we're going to pop over to Mrs. Trisha Sale at San Bernardo as soon as we get through. Well, not as soon as we as soon as we get through eating. So, uh, Mr. L. Page said, thank you for the email assistance. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, darling. And we really and truly love all y'all to pieces. We really and truly do. Mm -hmm. And thank y'all so much, so much for being here. See y'all next week. Bye. The chat over there is big. It's good. It's I know. It's easy to see, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> they are so funny. Mm -hmm.